Hey guys, how's it going? This is Josh with TechZone UK. In this video, I want to show you how you can display your Android smartphone screen on your Windows desktop. Now the best thing about this video is that you don't have to have your Android phone rooted or, or anything like that. You don't have to have any special software installed apart from one application called My Mobile. Now uh, the way we install this is by going into the App Store just here. And what we're going to do is just we're going to do a quick search uh, for My Mobile just there as you can see. And then what it is, is it's that top one which says Wi-Fi Keyboard Plus Screen Capture. And what you're going to do is you can click on that and you're just going to click install just there. Now, obviously at the moment it's not as simple as that. So what we need to do now is just quickly configure our Android device by going into our settings. So we're going to go into settings here. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom if you're running Jelly Bean. Um, and we need to go into developer tools. And you need to click that little flick switch on the top right which will enable developer tools. And then what you need to do is come down to USB debugging. Uh, it will give you a little warning saying you know it's only for developers only, but just click OK. Uh, this is needed to set up my mobile. And then we're going to go back here, and we're going to go scroll up a bit more, and we're going to the security tab just here, and we're going to need to uh, enable um, unknown sources, which basically means that that application um, will get installed um, because it's from an unknown source. So um, what we need to do now is close out of that and that's pretty much what we have to do on our iPhone. So uh, what we do is if we launch the uh, the application here, so if we go into our settings, mine's already open actually because I'm running it right now as you see. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go back just here. Oh, no I'm not, I'm going to go back into the application. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go set up device like that. Now when you set up, when you... Um, start your uh, your application for the first time this is the screen you will get um, and what you need to do now is come when you come onto your uh, desktop PC uh, you need to go to this website just here which is mymobile.com again I'll put the video in the description and what you need to do is just download this here and run the setup and things like that just go straight through it's really easy just hit next all the way through and it'll install and once you've done that you'll have in your start menu, type in mo my uh, mobile. You'll be able to have or see uh, you have a little icon here for my mobile uh, just here. And what it's going to do is it's going to put a little uh, icon in your taskbar just here. And what you're going to want to do is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect my device here so you can see it. Is it's going to you'll hear my phone uh, go off. But what it's going to do is it's going to come down here to the little icon, right click and go connect. Now, for the first time, your iPhone, need, uh, iPhone, your phone needs to be connected via USB. Okay, for the first time, it connects. Okay, that's very, very important. You need to connect your phone via USB, otherwise, it will not work. Um, so basically, once you've done that, if we click on Connect just here, you can see it's connecting to device. It's been a bit strange for some reason. I think it's because like, my my phone's been on lock screen. There we go. Let's try it again. Right click, add little icon there, and hit Connect. Connecting to your device, and there we go, it's now connected to Android, and you can see that I have what I have on my screen. Now, basically, like I said, for the first time you need to connect via USB, and then what you need to do um, is what you can do is you can actually start connecting. So, hopefully, by now you should have this on your screen. If for some reason the actual screen isn't being shown like this, what you need to do is go to set up device and then go to display now mine's kicked out at the moment but basically what you need to do is once you click display click, uh, click display again and click on three which is other and that will then uh, set it up so once you click other restart the application and then it will allow you to uh, come down here click connect and then this will then connect and show you what you have on your iPhone screen uh, I keep saying iPhone uh, on your phone's screen, and it's pretty much as simple as that. Um, that's pretty much how it works. Um, and then what you can do from here is you can um, go into the settings and configure a few things and mess about. But what you can do is just press home, and you can pretty much use your 
use your phone as you normally would and then it will start displaying on your screen um, you can actually use your mouse here which is pretty cool and you can click on the menus and stuff and you can use it like uh, you know, go into applications and Google Play Store and you can just use your mouse to run certain things and go through the you know the menus and things like that which is pretty cool so um, that's pretty much it really on how you can use uh, Mobler one last thing I'll quickly show you here um, is how you can do it wirelessly so if we click disconnect obviously you can hear my phone disconnecting as well and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the the mobile app bear with me scroll across and open that up and basically what it does is on the uh, the screen I'll connect again quickly what it will do is it will give you this little IP um, now what we need to do is connect via wirelessly so um, close out of it and in the bottom right corner of your screen you can right click and go connect IP and you can see it will automatically find it so if you click on that and what I'm going to do is I'm going dis to test this I'm going to disconnect mine from from the USB cable it's completely wireless now and I hit connect and now as you can see it's connecting there and there we go I'm completely wireless not even plugged in and you can see that in the top right hand corner um, because obviously um, it hasn't got the USB symbol uh, one thing downside to this is obviously the wireless is a lot, lot slower than the normal USB connection um, so maybe having it plugged in via USB is probably the quickest way um, but apart from that it's still a really really nice thing to be able to show you guys that I can record my uh, phone screen and show uh, demos on how to install cool software on the phone and, and things like that so um, thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it give it a like uh, if you've got any problems or anything like that um, I actually went through a couple um, when trying to get this to work and my first problem was that it wouldn't actually display my screen it would come up with this window but there'd be no application screen or anything like that so I if you get stuck drop a comment below and I'll hopefully be able to tell you what I did to resolve that issue um, but that's pretty much it for this one like I said if you did enjoy this video give it a like questions or anything like that drop a comment and uh, best of all if you want to see more from my YouTube channel or more Android videos and hit that subscribe button down below. So thank you very much for watching. Take care.